Hey, it's Annie and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share the best blushes that I found this year and also highlighters, I believe as well, I have in here. And I think I'm going to throw a bronzer in here as well. But I feel like I don't really think I tested a lot of bronzers this year. I'm trying to think like, I don't think I did. So, but I did test a lot of blushes. I mean, a lot of blushes this year and highlighters. Okay, glasses are gonna go on. Here we go. This one is from, this is called Palace Identity from ZC. First of all, I love the packaging on this. I just love it. And then the blush itself is just gorgeous and you hardly have to use any. The color payoff is just it's just beautiful. I absolutely love this. Love it. It feels so luxurious with the packaging. I have, I'm going to show you one that's a luxury brand. The packaging is nice on it, but it's nothing like that. You know what I mean? So this was like, this one went viral. <laughs> this one went viral and it's so pretty. It's just one that I didn't have and really like it. And this is the Dior Backstage Rosy Glow. Love this. This is what the packaging looks like, and this is the color. It's really, really pretty. Now, one thing I want to share with you guys is this. I don't think you have to have, I mean, if you want to, you have whatever you want. I'm not telling you what to do. I have more blushes now than I ever have. I was really good for a while, but now I'm, I'm trying to test more makeup for you guys. But you don't have to have a lot of blushes, so keep that in mind, okay? But um, this is so pretty because I didn't have a color like that. So what this does is it adap adapts to your skin tone. So it's not going to look like this on. So don't freak out. It doesn't. It's just really, really pretty. I'm not wearing this one today. I'm trying to think which one am I wearing today. The next one that I'm going to show you is the one that I'm wearing today. So love this. This is such a pretty blush and it's the one that I am wearing today. Really pretty. It's from Lancome and it is called the Smile and Blush. So that's the packaging on it. Lancome has nice packaging and that is the blush. So pretty. This one is oil free. So if you have oily skin, I would definitely recommend it. If you have dry skin, maybe not. But for oily skin, I really, really like this one. It's the only one that I have that's for oily skin, and it's just so pretty. I just love it. This one is a recent discovery for me, and I want to get another blush, at least one more. The packaging on this is gorgeous, and the, the blushes themselves are highly pigmented and gorgeous. So it's from Jouer. And these are the blushes. Oh my God, they're just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So this is in the, uh, says, this is Seduce Me and Tease Me. Really hate the names. I think it's stupid, but whatever. <laughs> but I love the colors. Aren't they pretty? Oh my God, I just love it. Love the packaging, like I said, and the blushes themselves are gorgeous. I feel like you're getting something like luxury makeup with this. It's really impressed. Um, I shared one of their powders. I don't know if that video was going out before or after this, so I don't want to say which one it is, but I, I discovered that this year too, and I love it. So Laura Mercier gifted me some blushes, and I have more than this, and I, I don't know where I put them. Um, but these are the two that I reach for the most, okay? So this is the packaging on them. It's what it looks like, both of them look the same so this is in the color Bellini it's so pretty I don't know why I never purchased her blushes before I love the magnetic case on it so pretty and this one is in the color watermelon love it sorry for the hair love it love it love it beautiful pigmented even these light colors are pigmented and gorgeous highly recommend highly recommend if you're looking for a blush like I said, I don't hear a lot about that, about her blushes, but I think they're so beautiful. I'm surprised nobody talks about them. Okay, let me see. Do I have any more blushes or are we going to get into highlighters? There's one highlighter here. I'm pretty sure I discovered it this year. I hope so. Sometimes I forget which stuff I discovered this year and whatever. Um, and I'm going to put something in here. and I don't know if I put this in with my powders. But I'm going to put it in here too because I feel like it's highlighting and 
there's actually so you you saw this in one of my other videos but I'm sharing it here because it's considered a setting powder but I feel like it's a highlighter okay and this is celestial from Laura Mercier again this was gifted to me it's so beautiful as a highlighter don't don't let that color scare you it's really let's see if I can put a little bit on my my arm or something excuse my stomach I've not eaten lunch yet and it's almost four o'clock okay so can you see that see how it's it's not dark it's not dark at all it's really 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 pretty I feel like this in my opinion makes a really really pretty highlighter that I would just use on the top part of my cheeks that's what I do top part of my cheeks lovely discovery she sent me some other colors too but I just this one I feel like is the prettiest on mature skin it's really really nice it's subtle you know the other ones are a little bit too much I feel like mature skin but I think that's really really pretty but if I discovered this last year please correct me okay <laughs> but this is this is another one from Murmurs you know this one I purchased myself because of my one of my subscribers this is in the highlight 01 it's gorgeous it's absolutely gorgeous beautiful beautiful highlighter I wouldn't put this all over your face again I would just put it in areas where you want to highlight just be careful because remember whenever you are highlighting your the you know it's reflecting the light so it's going to draw attention to that so if you have a lot of lines and crow's feet and you put a highlighter there and you don't want to highlight that you just did with a highlighter so then maybe it's not for you or you can just say you know what screw it I'm gonna embrace it and I don't care I'm gonna highlight my lines and because I love them you know that's good to do too you don't have to be like afraid of lines and all that you know this is another one that was actually gifted to me from Laura Mercy and it's gorgeous and this is in the color rose glow this is what the packaging looks like it's kind of it's pretty but patching like the packaging like this gets really fingerprinted you know that is the color it is so beautiful oh my gosh I love this one it's so I don't know if you're gonna be it's hard to see on my my arms you know when I put it on my face when I have a foundation on you could see it better it's very pretty it's subtle but you can it's enough that you can see the light reflection and it's just beautiful this isn't really a highlighter but I want to throw this in here because this is something that will give you a beautiful glow within it is gorgeous gorgeous don't be afraid of it and it is from Dior and this is called the backstage universal face and body glow it is beautiful so you just use a little bit of this you can mix it with your foundation or you can apply it first on your face and then you can put a foundation on over it it is just so beautiful it really really is it's kind of similar to the color science uh, glow sunscreen it's similar to that a little bit different but similar it's really really pretty I love this and when I wear this I get so many compliments on my complexion when I wear this it's so beautiful don't be afraid of it okay I'm not saying you should take a brush and put it all over your face but I do use this as a highlighter and a bronzer and um, a blush I do really really like it I think it's really pretty I don't feel like it's glittery or anything I know somebody bought it and they felt like that I don't feel like that if you're not sure then I would say go check it out in person for yourself and see what you think so this is from Dior and this is one of their backstage passes I don't our backstage palettes I I don't like the packaging on this Dior stuff it looks really cheap to me I wish they I don't like it I'm just gonna say I don't like it um, but the product itself I really do like this is what they look like and I will use and I've even done an eye color with this like I will do an eye shadow look with it and I will put it on my face so it kind of all ties together and it's so pretty you don't have to go crazy with this either and you could even use like a color like this on top of a blush okay now I always tell you guys you do have to be careful if you have texture or anything like that because you if you put too much of it on you will highlight it and here's the thing 
when you're putting this on as a blush, you shouldn't be putting it on there anyways. You should be putting it on there, so it should be okay. Same with the bronzer. I kind of keep it in this area over here. So keep that in mind if you're wearing that. But I don't find it to be too much, in my opinion. I think it's really, really pretty, even on my mature skin. I was shocked because I didn't think I was going to like it. So I thought, if I don't like it on my face, I can put it on my eyes. But I think it's really pretty. So... Yeah, this is a recent one for me, and I love it. When I first saw it, I shared that video. Hopefully, it'll be out before this. Yeah, it should be. Um, when I first when I first got this, I was just like, no. <laughs> but it is so pretty. I'm actually wearing it today. It's not over the top. It's really pretty. You can build it up a little bit if you want to, but I would say no. I would say no. You don't want to go too much with this because. I just feel like a highlighter should look like my skin. See how nice and glowy my skin looks? I think that looks pretty. You don't, I just feel like you don't want to overdo it, you know, with the nose and like, I don't think you need to do all that. You know, if you just use a little bit, it just makes you look fresh and awake, you know, and this one's a really, really pretty one. This one's from Givenchy and this one is in the color Organza. Um, unfortunately, this one is a limited edition, so hopefully it's still available, but I really, really like it. I love the packaging on I got some fingerprints on it, but so, so pretty. I'll kind of show you. So don't be scared. It looks dark. My stomach is really, I'm sorry. <laughs> the color looks dark, but it's not, as you can see. I'm wearing it. It's, it's just lovely. I would recommend, too, using a fan brush. I know a lot of people now, the thing is to use these um, brushes for highlighter, but I don't know. I just feel like on mature skin, I think the fan brush is the way to go because you have more control and you can just lightly put it on and just lightly buff it in. I feel like you're going to get a prettier look with a fan brush than you are with one of those other brushes. It's just my opinion. Okay, so this I mentioned in the other video, I'm pretty sure, but I'm going to mention it again because it is more of a glowy type of a powder and and you I'm gonna let me show you and I'll explain how you can use it as a highlighter okay so this is from YSL and this is called the Touche Eclay 3D 3D all over glow so what I like to do with it is I like to put a little bit like on my cheek area here it's not going to it doesn't on me. It doesn't make it look like I have texture on my cheeks or anything. And there are some things that have shimmer in it that do. This is not one of them, okay? So that's what I do. I just put in certain areas. But you can just use it as a highlighter if you wanted to. You can just use it as a little bit of a highlighter at the high part of your cheeks. It's not going to be like, like the highlighter I showed you. It's going to be very subtle, but it's really, really pretty. I just am in love with this. And subscriber recommendation I love it now this is the, I think this is the last thing here yeah this is something that I started just purchased recently okay now this particular one isn't available anymore because it's actually from last year I don't know how I missed it and when I first got it I was like mm, I don't really like it um but I do you do have to build this up though, and I would say this is not for deeper skin tones. It's definitely for somebody that's my skin tone or maybe fairer than me, okay? Because it's very subtle. I'm actually wearing it today, and it's from Charlotte Tilbury, and this is her film, what's it called? Her Film Star Bronze and Glow. I love the packaging on this one. I just love the packaging. The packaging now was a little bit different. Like I said, this is from last year, okay? I actually bought this from here. It's, so, it's got the nice little mirror in here. And this is the bronzer. So this is the bronzer that's in, um, I think it's like light medium. And then the highlighter. Highlighter is very subtle. So here's the thing. If you want to do a very minimal makeup look and you don't want that that bold bronzer look, you're going to love this because you're not going to get much of a, a look. You do have to build it up, okay? Once you build it up, you'll get some color. But, I mean, if I swatch it on my arm, you're not even going to see it, okay? Because you really have to build it up. So, I do really, really like it. And I have to mess around and see what it would look like on my eyes as far as an eyeshadow. This 
is very subtle okay so again it's this is very subtle look but you know what I've been doing with this that I really like and I shared in the video recently um, I actually if I'm sharing this first then you're gonna see it again in that video but what I like to do with it is I will take this highlighter and I will just put it a little bit right on the I don't put it up here but I put it right where my shadow ends there to blend it out and it makes it just looks look at how seamless my eyeshadow looks today see how seamless my eyeshadow looks it's because I use this so you don't have to use this to do that but I'm just saying if you have this and you get it you can also use it for that is what I'm saying so really love this so let me know what are some of your discoveries in highlighters and uh, what did we talk about blushes and blushes and highlighters this year that you were like oh my gosh I love it it's just so pretty I love it let me know what your favorites are so many of you guys share your favorites with me and a lot of times they end up being my favorite too so please share would love to check it out so um, thank you guys so much for joining me and I will catch you guys all in my next video bye so that's what they oh my god we're going out to dinner tonight and I'm kind of trying to do that like you're like okay I know I'm gonna eat like high calorie food so I kind of want to wait to eat and not eat any lunch until do you do that please let me know that you do that <laughs> please let me know it's not just me I am so freaking hungry I'm starving right now so my stomach sounds like a thunderstorm and I still have a couple more videos to go so okay gotta go